Jacoby with a tank. Tank fish on. Could be a personal best. <laughs> oh my god, that thing is huge. <laughs> Dude, that thing is huge. <laughs> Come on, man, get it in the net. Oh my god, that's huge. <laughs> This is it. Oh my god, that's huge, dude. Oh. <laughs> man, it's such a big fan. Well, I'm just sitting in my garage, cleaning up all my fishing gear here and putting things away and just reflecting back on a pretty amazing day of fly fishing. You know, it's pretty cool when you teach family or friends how to fly fish and they catch that first fish. I mean, there's just that thrill. Well, yesterday, Kobe hooked into his personal best, one of the biggest trout he has ever put in the net. And so what's really cool about that is the once first time fly fisher is now the Jedi master when it comes to fly fishing. And to see him hook in to the biggest trout that he's ever hooked in his life is was just an absolute thrill to be a part of that. <laughs> All right, roll fill. Hello and thanks for tuning in to another episode of Fly Fish Dan. I'm here with Kobe. Up. <laughs> He's got the pontoon boat today because we didn't feel like sitting in the lake in the float tubes and freezing our butts off. I've got the Blackfoot 130 kayak and we're going to do a little fishing today. It's a beautiful day, February, and it feels like spring. It's supposed to be a high, almost 60 today. Cannot wait. Hopefully that'll bring the bugs out, which will bring the fish out. All right, let's go catch a fish. Let's do this. Fish on. Trying to find a good spot to start. It's a little bit windy. I do have an anchor, which I might have to use. But it's kind of looking good over here. It's a new lake. It's a new lake for me. It's fun to do a little exploring. We are the only ones here, which is always incredible to me when we're fishing the weekend. I got a few setups with me today. I've got my Sage VT2, a little three weight with a Ross Colorado reel. And I've just got kind of a see just a it is a leech on a jig hook a little bead head green with tinsel hair so we're gonna see if the fish might want to start by eating that it's pretty shallow I just dropped uh, dropped my anchor over and it's maybe only five feet deep or so here You just never know who you're gonna run to run into on the lake. You just never <laughs> just know. Just never know. I think your ears must have been burning because I was talking about you. I think so. And it's like, you know, I told Kobe, said, let's go to my secret lake. There'll be nobody else there. And then here's James. Well, someone showed me this lake a long time ago, so there's a good chance <laughs> I'm gonna be here. Well, welcome James and Super awesome to run into you. Right on. Let's go get some fish on. <laughs> Let's catch some fish. Let's do this. Fish on. Kobe with the fish on. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's a slab, dude. That's a big fish. Look at that guy. I think he took my special fly. Yeah, he did. Dude, that's a big that's a big fish. <laughs> like really big. <laughs> Come on, man. Get him in the net. Get him in the net. Ooh. Get him in the net. Oh. Dude, nice fish. <laughs> Sweet. Kobe hooked up again. <laughs> what are you using, Kobe? Uh, it's kind of like this. It's this cool little... Uh mayfly nymph with a little tiny bead holy i need to get out of your way get out of your way here because this one is f***ing gigantic oh my god so at this point i almost ran over his uh, fish i'm getting used to the kayak and i rolled up on him and nearly put the front of the boat into his line which would have been a freaking disaster glad that didn't happen <sighs> oh Kobe, that's a huge fish dude <laughs> That's like really big. <laughs> like I looked down on it and it's like four or five pounds. Oh my, <laughs> oh my god. god, dude. That is a big fish. <laughs> Holy crap. 
Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> so that was saying, oh dude. Oh my god. That could be like one of the biggest trout you've ever caught. <laughs> Kind of big, <laughs> dude. That thing is huge. <laughs> you know that's not gonna even get close to fitting in your net. <laughs> so after seeing the fish right below me, it's really clear waters here. I, I knew that his net was not gonna be big enough for this fish. So I passed him my net for the big, the big uh, landing, and we were so excited, just absolutely petrified that this might might get loose, so. There you go. Oh my God, dude. Oh my God, that thing is huge. <laughs> dude, that thing is huge. <laughs> oh my God, that's huge. <laughs> oh, dude. What? Oh, come on, man. Get it in the net. Oh, my God. That's huge. This is it. Oh, my God. That's huge, dude. Oh. That is such a big fish. I think this is my PB. I think this is it. Oh, my God. Yeah, that thing. I think it's five pounds at least. This is definitely it. Oh, my God. God. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I, oh. I can't even hold it up with one. Oh hand. my god. Look at the size of that thing. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> oh, okay. Oh, you gotta lift that up. Look at the size. Holy crap. Jeez. That thing is massive. Dude, <laughs> that is amazing. Wow. Man, that that is one of those fish that he will remember for the rest of his life. I mean, such a cool moment. And I'm so happy I was a part of that. Very cool. And hey, if you want to check out what it's like to fish a tiny creek and catch these massive native to Washington red band trout, check out this video right here. It is a great story. You're going to love it. All right, everybody. Till the next time, fish on.